This is an ultrasound study of uh, 20 years old female with the history of uh, right idea course of pain and uh, backache as well for a few days. What we uh, see here is that uh, this I have focused, uh, in fact, to show you the uh, renal artery. This is the left kidney in transfer section and this is the fluid little bit of a fluid you can see over there. This is the re right renal artery in transfer section and uh, the uh, RI is 0.28, PI is 0.41, it's uh, low on the lowest side of the uh, expected normal. So <coughs> What is the pathology? In fact, let's move over straight away towards the pathology. This is the liver, this is the portal vein, and uh, beta sample. This is the, uh, this is the gallbladder, as you can see the portal vein at the neck of uh, the gallbladder. But when I focus the kidney, you see, I see a uh, Echogenic area, highly vascular. See the vascularity of this limb, very vascular. Okay, that uh, now this uh, solid, better than I said, on to this solid mass measures approximately. Uh, Four point three into three point eight centimeters, and uh, it is uh, a solid mass relating to the uh, anterior upper pole of the right kidney. You can see it moves with the kidney. This is the longitudinal section of the kidney. Uh, you are seeing that right kidney, longitudinal section. And this is the solid ecogenic mass with internal cystic area along with, uh, if I magnify it, you will see tiny calcifications are present, whether it? There are tiny calcifications, see? And this is a fluid compartment at the uh, lateral margin of this solid mass with internal echoes. Here you see, these are the internal echoes within it and this is part of the mass this is part of the mass and when we measure with the fluid compartment that is seen on the lateral margin of this uh, solid mass then its measurement is 6.1 centimeter by 4.7 centimeter this is the fluid part uh, that is uh, extending laterally from this uh, complex solid mass, highly vascular, it's a very highly vascular mass. See the vascularity. Age of the patient is 20 years. And this is the uh, fluid compartment of this uh, complex solid mass. Now, another thing to notice that it moves with respiration with the kidney. This is the kidney. And this solid ecogenic mass moves with the kidney. Uh, and this is a tiny calcification that this one you will see here, this one, whether it moves with the kidney, glides over the uh, ileosaurus muscle. Let, let's see that. Here is the ileosaurus muscle now, and it is gliding over the ileosaurus muscle. Kidney is gliding over the ileosaurus muscle. This one, ileosaurus muscle. Kidney glides over the ileosaurus muscle, we know that. And uh, this is the 
solid mass, complex mass with the thick rim, ecogenic rim around and internal cystic areas with internal calcification, tiny calcifications and a few uh, pocket at the lateral margin and is seen at the anterior, uh, this is the anterior parenchyma, so it is seen at the region of the upper uh, anterior parenchyma protruding uh, upwards and uh, laterally. This is the upper hole of the right kidney. This is the central sinus complex and otherwise rest of the kidney is uh, unremarkable. This is the lower pole of the kidney and you can see that the cortical medullary differentiation is intact. Ecogenicity is normal. However, maybe because of mild uh, pressure effect from this uh, complex mass, there is seen some dilation of the calluses. These are dilated calluses. So, uh, and this solid mass, it extends up to the posterior, uh, upper part of the posterior uh, parenchyma. So this is the central sinus echo complex should have been there. It is invading the central sinus echo complex and then it's uh, ending up in, at the upper part of the posterior uh, parenchyma at the upper core of the right kidney. So this is our case of the day. I will be wait for the uh, result of the biopsy as uh, I do not have any other uh, investigations provided. This is the only only history that two verbal I was able to obtain. Thank you very much.